Hello YouTube, welcome to Calculator Learning Tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to calculate standard deviation in Casio FX991ES. Now, this has been one of my favorite calculators uh, just because the ease of operation from a user's point of view is amazing. Now, uh, I've got some problems in hand. For example, uh, we'll start from the very beginning. We want to select single variable and then we want to input the following data. So uh, we'll have a variable x in which we'll enter this data. Then we'll try to edit the data and then we'll add frequency to that data. And finally, we'll calculate a lot of things um, for this data so turn the calculator on the first step is uh, you could press shift then go to mode then press the down arrow the fourth option is stat press that so we'll keep the frequency on because for this value of x will keep the frequency uh, will specify the frequency later on then press shift again and press 1 because the alternate function for 1 is stat now the first option is type press that and now we would like to select one variable so press 1 it gives you the option to input the vari uh, the values for x so let's start entering the value 1 equal it automatically goes down when you specify the value and press equal so I'm going to enter the values here all right and if at any stage you would want to edit the data you can go up and sideways to edit it and I'll put the frequency also uh, so I have an edited data where the first value corresponds to 0 the next value is 1 then 2 and 3 4 5 6 7 then we skip 8 and go to 9 and we have 10 here so now let's enter frequency um, the frequency of 0 is 1 and then for 1 is 2 and then 1 again then 2 2 2 3 4 2 and 1 so that is how you enter the data for single variable uh, input in case of finding standard deviation mm, uh, calculations for example you would want to do a lot of things like finding the sum of squares of sample data sum of sample data number of samples and so on and so forth and now once you have done that you could press equal or you could clear the screen by pressing AC now once again you would want to go to shift and 1 and then you need to press 4 now this this step is very important if you press 4 you'll get all the options uh, under to perform various other functions like uh, finding the number of samples, calculating mean, population standard deviation, finding minimum value of x or maximum value of x can be done by clearing the screen by pressing AC, then going to shift, stat, and then uh, you should look out for the option 5 and 6 for variation and min max options for 5 there are four sub menu options the first one being if you press one it will show you the number of samples 
and uh, then we go back to the options the second option is for mean the mean is 5 then we go back to stat we press 5 and then the third option is for the population standard deviation which is 2.898 and to find out the minimum value of x and maximum value of x clear the screen go back to shift stat press the option 6 this time so you see two options minimum of x maximum of x press 1 minimum of, minimum of x is 0 so it should show us 0 go back to shift 1 6 and then 2 maximum of x is 10 here so it should show 10 here so that is how you can perform a lot of operations on one variable and uh, in the next tutorial I'll uh, I'll demonstrate how you can perform standard deviation calculations on two variables with a lot more complicated options and till then take care and uh, have a good good life and give peace a chance bye